How you doing guys? Want to show this off as a public PSA. Yes. This is a Chinese clone, if you can believe it. It is unreal how close they can get. Um, this obviously has a titanium front scale on it. And the back is titanium. I don't know why they're two different colors. This is not my knife. It's in for some anodizing. But anyways... It is insane how close this is to the real deal. And then fit and finish is outstanding as well. I don't know why they just can't produce their own designs, but I'm not going to be the moral police here. Just want to show it off. Show you lock up it is great. There's no wiggle up and down at all, no side to side blades dead centered if I didn't know any better it's so bad to say I, I just I would if this did not have this on here if it didn't have this titanium see nowhere on here does it say hinder and then if it had the proper flat screws like they produce now I don't know if I could tell this between a custom and a production like a repo, like the repo, the clone. Point out some of the few things. Uh, my client here did change the screws. I guess the original one stripped out really fast. That's one thing. If you're familiar with Chinese made knives, the hardware is really, really soft. So they strip out really easy. The spider code tenacious is do it. Uh, most of the Chinese produced ones that I work on, you have to be super careful because the screws will strip. So anyways, I do kind of appreciate, I mean, as, as crappy as it is that they ripped off the XM18 design, they put titanium up here instead of putting hinder, right? Because they easily probably could have changed that lettering and put hinder on there. Um... They also did not put Hinder, this is a non-logo one, but they didn't put Hinder's logos on here. They put um, Kevin John, which is what this series of clones are being called. There's like Kevin John Sebenzas and 24 Flippers and 18 Flippers and the Warren Clef Grind and all that. Let me show off, though, how scary it is. If they start producing their own designs, there'll be something to watch out for. See how this sweeps down and comes really close to that scale at this corner? Same exact way on here. All their sweep, where they start their grind, is all completely even. The swedge. Let me show you how insane this is. You see how the, the space here to the top we cause the exact same on this side. This wedge comes down and meets right at the point of this. Same exact thing. Comes right down and meets to the point. Which makes this whole thing Completely symmetrical. Insane. All the jimping is cut straight. Matches all up. The thumb stud is exactly... Seems exactly... A perfect match. It is a little more square. This one's a little more rounded off. Look how nice and tight the filler tabs in there. The same exact pivot hardware. Same design on the front here. It's crazy. The clip. How close the clip is. If not, a perfect match. The detent holes drilled all the way through. 
the gym pain's right where it should be. Lock up centering. Not selling you on this knife. All as I'm saying, you got to watch out. A lot of these are hitting the market. If you didn't know any better, you could easily get taken, and you would not be able to tell by fit and finish. Now, how well does this blade hold an edge? I have no idea. Right, so I mean, quality will show through. But it's insane that they can do this for $135. If they start producing their own designs, it's going to be something to watch out for. Then, you know, if you want to buy from China or not, who knows, some kids, you know, my children's age could be putting these things together, which is really sad. So I'm not saying I support it at all. Just watch out. They're getting closer and closer. And if he was to actually put Hinder up here, whoever's producing this knife, if they were to put the right logos on here, which I have no doubt that they can do if they come this close, if they stepped up their hardware just a little bit, when you see this, you're going to think, you know, obviously that's, that's not the correct hardware. But, um, I think you can even get flat screws from Rick Hinder. It's just insane. I think they could really clone it exactly dead on if they wanted to. Just got to watch out. Buy from reputable dealers. Watch eBay because who knows. There might be some fakes that actually do have the hinder stuff all on it. And they just mix in with the real stuff. I mean that's the problem with clones. Once they get so close, now what happens if a clone goes back to Rick Hinder because a lock slipped? And it really wasn't Rick Hinder's work. You know. But anyways, not going to be the moral police. Going to anodize it bronze. I think I'm going to blast the blade and stonewash it. And send it back to my client here. There are some big differences. I'm glad that he didn't put... I keep saying he like it's a producer, but I'm glad this factory did not put the um, hinder up here. Nowhere on this knife does it say hinder. It's just a complete blatant ripoff of the hinder XM18 Warren Clef Custom. And it's really bad to say. It just has like impeccable fit and finish. I believe it even has bronze phosphor washers in there if you can see them. Smooth. The detent is nice and tight. Clicks down in there. Which makes it flip as good as a real XM18. You know, they're not notorious made flippers. You gotta use a little bit of wrist. Just kills me that the blade's even centered. They should just produce their own designs. Alright guys. Hopefully I didn't ruffle too many feathers. I just, I'm, I'm very honest. And I want people to watch out. Know what you're buying. I'm not going to tell you if it's right or wrong. Obviously. I have no idea. Some people would say that this helps. Once you get this, you would want to get the real deal. And then some people know, no way. If you got this and it did well, there's no way you'd hunt down and pay over well over a thousand dollars for this knife probably like two or three thousand dollars if this was real so, that's it hopefully you guys have a great day see ya